Hello YouTube, it's been a while since my last video, almost three months in fact, so I decided to go ahead and make another one. Uh, last time I made a video it was mid-March, and I was home from school for um, spring break, so... Uh, yeah, it's been about three months, and um, I'm home from college again. Actually, just after my last video, I went back to college for a few months, and then... Um, came back about a month and a half, and things have been... Things have been going, so... Um, I have a list of things here to talk about in this video. It's not going to be super crazy, I don't have any new gaming rigs or brand new stuff to, to talk about, but I have some little updates. So, um, so yeah, first I'd like to mention that I've cleaned this place out a lot, and that might not seem to have a whole lot of relevance to, like, any of my computer business stuff, but um, it kind of does, because I got rid of a whole bunch of stuff I had. Let me think. I used to have a whole bunch of machines over here. I just scrapped a lot of them. Um, machines have like Pentium 4s and, you know, 512 megs of memory. I have like a bunch of Dell Dimension 2400s and 3000s, scrapped all of them. Uh, a few of these were from my business space at school and I um, took them back home. I had maybe about eight desktop computers at my business space in the school and I took uh, three or four of them back, which was all I could fit. So, um, I, yeah, I plopped them in here, I haven't sold them yet. But, uh, yeah, I got rid of probably 10, maybe 11 or 12 desktop computers, like, there was a Dell Dimension 4550 back here I scrapped, I scrapped a few 2400s and 3000s, you know, just like Pentium 4 machines that are, quite frankly, not worth anything anymore. And I had a few, uh, desktops, uh, that I did actually manage to sell that had been sitting around for a while, with like a Pentium dual cores and a few gigs of memory and stuff, and about 30 bucks off each of them. In fact, my brother's girlfriend actually gave me a... Dell Dimension 9150, and I sold that for 30 or 40 bucks. I had like a 3 gigahertz Core 2, no, not Core 2 Duo, um, Pentium Dual Core and stuff, so. But it's not here since I sold it. I've, I retrieved it and sold it a long time ago, so. Um, yeah, I really don't have a whole lot to show you guys, unfortunately, as far as stuff I'm currently working on, because again, um, my supply is pretty dry. Um, though I was trying to sell a few of my servers, I was thinking about selling this one, and I was trying to sell my Dell PowerEdge 2600 in my basement, but uh, Craigslist is a pain in the ass, so I couldn't actually sell it, because people were like, hey, I want to buy the server, I'm like, cool, show up, you know, whenever, and they're like, no response, so, I don't know. Um, so yeah, that's that. All in all, I'm running a lot lighter in here, I'm focusing a lot more on making this place a good place to be, rather than a place that's full of computer hardware. Um, so yeah, there's that. Um, I forgot to mention here, I got a whole bunch of scrap uh, I went through and I got rid of a bunch of my video cards, like these things, you know, they look cool and all, sort of, but they're just old. This is like a, yeah, 64 megabyte AGP card, don't need it, I'm not gonna, it's not worth anything. This box is almost full of motherboards, I probably got 25 or 30 pounds of motherboards in there. This box is full of power supplies, and I got, you can't see anything, but I got CD and DVD drives and stuff in there, and so, the stuff has been accumulating probably since a year ago, so I'm probably going to sell this stuff at some point. Uh, it's probably only about a hundred bucks, maybe a hundred and fifty dollars worth of stuff in here, so it, I don't know, it's something, but it's not not a whole ton of stuff. also got a few hard drives that I'm going to sell for scrap as well that someone dumped out in the floor back there. But anyway, in other news, um, what else is new? Uh, so. Let's see, I think what I'll do is I'll go ahead and talk about this next, because this is a whole lot more interesting. So, this is my 2012 gaming PC over here. It's funny to think that I built this PC almost exactly three years ago. Um, let me think for a sec. What's the date? No, my phone doesn't tell me. Anyway, uh, probably a week under, no, not even a week under, like six days under three years ago, I think I built this thing. And um, it served me well through college for the months that I had it. I think of the eight or so months I was at college, I only had this thing with me for six or seven. But anyway, um, it's been serving me well. In fact, what I did with it is I went ahead and I popped the second GTX 780 in it. You can't really see anything, but um, I went on eBay and picked up another one of those guys for 250 bucks, which ain't too bad considering the fact that the first one was 535 a couple years ago. No, a year and a half ago, I mean. So. Um, it's running pretty great. I got a little bit better performance in GTA 5, but oh my god, it's insane. 
it's ridiculous how much it takes to max out um, Grand Theft Auto V. It is, <laughs> it is absolutely crazy. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I get about 60 FPS in, like, high, very high settings. Not quite ultra, though. Um, so, yeah, there's that. One of my hard drives failed, so I had to pull one of the hard drives. I have a RAID 0 array. Two hard drives, right? I had to pull one of them out and replace it while maintaining the array. So I had to do a bunch of data mirroring and tossing data around. And that was a couple months ago, and it's working fine now, so that's good. Um, I guess next up I got... Um, I went ahead and uh, downloaded Windows 10, at least a preview from Microsoft, and it's looking pretty good. Um, I just went ahead and shrunk up the, part, the secondary partition on this computer's RAID array and just uh, made a new partition that's like 80 gigs and tossed, uh, tossed Windows 10 on it. And it's not finalized yet, I know, but um, it's a pretty nice operating system, I have to say. It's got a few little uh, corners cut here and there that they haven't really finished up yet, but all in all, I think it's actually pretty Pretty, pretty solid operating system. Uh, I like the start menu. It's very good to have that back again because it is, it, it is a matter of convenience really just to have a start menu. It's kind of just useful to have. Um, and you still got all the app tiles and stuff, except there's, you actually have like the all programs and all those links right there, which is very useful. So, without taking up the entire screen. But I'm not really sure how much of a fan I am of like the. Uh, the minimalistic design, because let's see if I start up, let's see if I start up their web browser. It's pretty much Internet Explorer. It looks kind of boring, doesn't it? It's not a whole lot, well, except for the fact that we got, you know, all these articles and stuff here. Oops. Installing a video driver. NVIDIA has actually already coded a driver for Windows 10, which is pretty nice. I'm installing that now, which is why my screen is flashing. Come on. But uh, I just noticed that the design of Windows 10 is pretty minimalistic, which is kind of the idea, but uh, I think it could be a little bit more exciting if this ever wakes up again. Come on. I don't know, the colors just look flat, and you know the angles to all the windows are all 90 degrees. It looks, it looks nice, but I think it's not as colorful and pretty as Windows 7 was, but I don't know. It's just my input. So apparently uh, this computer doesn't want to wake up here after installing that video driver, so I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it to it. Um, it was actually pretty cool because my Steam library, what, what you can actually do is if you have a Steam library on a hard drive that multiple operating systems use, you can access that Steam library on both operating systems without having to reinstall the games on the second operating system, which is pretty awesome. Um, so yeah, uh, what more to talk about? Um, I'll go ahead mention this thing over here. I got my 2009 PC, or at least the PC that I originally built in 2009 over here. Um, actually, I had a second monitor hooked into this thing at one point, but uh, actually it's right over here. It's that thing right there. Yeah, I had that plugged in next to the uh, monitor right here, but I was playing drums one night and I wasn't doing so great. And uh, I don't know, I threw a stick and it hit the monitor and didn't look so bad at first, so I retrieved my stick and kept on playing, and uh, went to go turn this PC on a few days later, I found that the monitor had like a bunch of dead pixels, like it was just screwed up, so. <laughs> Probably shouldn't put my monitors directly facing my drum set. <laughs> I also threw another one at another occasion that hit my server, but didn't put a dent in it or anything. Like, you'd expect drumsticks to be pretty, like, benign, but they actually, they, they pack a pretty good punch and they hit stuff going fast. Um... So yeah, so I got my 2009 PC here. I've talked about this before in my past videos, how I upgraded it and all that. Uh, not quite the original hardware. I actually, I think I, did I mention? No, I didn't mention. I added more memory to it. It used to have four gigs of DDR3 memory in it, running at 1066 because the motherboard doesn't, just doesn't like the uh, Corsair RAM I put in it. But I went ahead and I um, put some different DDR3 memory, had, memory I had lying around it. Now it's got six gigs of 1333 megahertz actually running at its proper speed. So yeah, and I think my, yeah, I got the original memory to it just sitting there. It's, is it that stuff? Yes, it's the Corsair stuff right there. So that's pretty cool. Memory upgrade. 
50% more memory, it's running a bit faster, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, but I was also going to mention my server here. I'm, I'm uh, remote desktoping my Precision 690. I used to be running the server from school, but instead I'm running it from my dad's office right now, which is pretty good. The internet's not as fast as it was at school, but the good thing about the network I'm currently running it from is that it doesn't have a whole bunch of um, restrictions on it. Um, and I can actually access the port forwarding and stuff, so I'm not, I'm not running the server through a VPN anymore like I was at school, so it's, it's going to be way more reliable as far as like not randomly cutting out from the VPN disconnecting, which is pretty cool. And the internet is only about, a, I don't know, 8 megabits a second, which ain't amazing, but it's enough for my server, especially considering the fact that no one ever plays on my servers, but anyway. So um, I went ahead and I made some changes since my last video on this stuff. If you, if you guys go to my Steam group, I named it Tracer Core Gaming. It's, it's a questionable name, but I think, it's, I think it'll work on Steam, on the Steam community. You'll be able to see like all the IPs and everything. Actually, I think they're all running off the same IP. In fact, they are, because I'm not running any virtual machines or anything. But anyway, uh, so I went ahead and I cut up my Trouble and Terra set Town server, because no one is really playing on that, and I just don't feel like having it running. I'm still running TeamSpeak, Gmod Dark RP, Gmod Sandbox, um, Minecraft, and Rust. So, again, it's not seeing a whole lot of traffic, except I forgot to mention I'm also running a TF2 server. It's, um, that is 24 24 7, because I love, I love that map. Uh, but I'm not really seeing a whole bunch of traffic here from anyone, really. So, I don't know. I mean, this is kind of an experimental thing. I'm hoping that. I'll get more players on here once, you know, once Rust actually is released officially. I'm hoping more people will start playing the Rust server and all that. But um, I don't. Know. I think it's a bad time to run a server because there's a bunch of games like Rust that are coming out that people are going to start playing seriously. But then you've got the games like Gmod that some people like playing. But Gmod running a Gmod server just I feel like it's not really worth it anymore because. The, I feel like the player base for Gmod just isn't big enough. I feel like it's shrunk into the point at which making a new gaming community in Gmod just isn't going to work. So I'm, I'm hoping to move forwards to different things. Um, I also have a CSGO, Counter-Strike Global Offensive, that is a server on this thing that is not currently running, but um, yeah, it's there in case I ever want to use that for anything. So I don't know. If any of you guys are interested who haven't already joined my group, you can go ahead and join my group. Again, that's Tracer Core Gaming. And I'm hoping to expand my selection of game servers and stuff, especially if people actually start playing on them. Anyway, but, uh, let me see. Um, so, right now, part of the reason why I'm not doing a whole lot of computer stuff is because I'm working full-time. The past two summers, including the summer, I've worked at Traveler's Insurance, which is fairly large corporate insurance company in Hartford, Connecticut. So I drive myself to the city every day. More specifically, I carpool more often than I drive myself, that's not the point. Um, and I work in central Hartford every day in IT service management. And I brought up a little page here about IT service management because it doesn't really mean anything just to hear the name. Um, it's a Wikipedia page on it. I'm not going to read the entire article to you guys, but I'm just going to give a slight overview of what I do because my line of work does have some relevance to my learning in college and with the computer stuff. Anyway, um, ITSM, IT Service Management, is a set of practices within the I IT Infrastructure Library, which is pretty much, I'm, I'm just going to give you the gist of it. I'm like the IT support for IT support. Like we pretty much give IT the information they need to solve people's problems. Like there's databases of information on every person in the company, what computer they have, what hardware that computer has and what software it has on it, what other systems interfaces with, what known issues exist for that hardware and software, and yada, 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 all that stuff. So we pretty much, it's, my, it's not my job, but it's a job of myself and my coworkers to upkeep that database and to help move new information into it, upgrade the database and all that stuff. It's not just like one database, it's like a collection of databases, I guess you could say with different interfaces for different purposes. Like uh, one of our clients, you could say, is the um, IT help desk for the entire company. So we, we, we pretty much, like IT support is our client, pretty much. We're, we're pretty much supporting IT support. But anyway, um, so yeah, that's that. Um, 
and I think that's pretty much it for this video actually. Uh, I managed to eat up 15 minutes so far, not saying a whole ton, but um, I thought I'd mention one more thing, which is that I have a potential lead for getting more desktop computers. My dad met somebody who apparently runs a business um, upgrading computer hardware for for um, companies and whatnot, and he says that he doesn't really have the time to... It's a chair, by the way, making weird noises. Anyway, uh, he doesn't have the time to sell or work with the computers he takes out of the companies because, like, you know, these are companies that upgrade their stuff every three years or so. So he pulls up three-year-old machines, put in, puts in brand new ones. I guess has plenty of income from putting in the brand new ones, and he eats up all his time. So he doesn't really have a whole lot of time to try to turn around the three-year-old ones for profit. So it's possible that if I talk to this guy and play my cards right, I could. Uh, I could get my hands on some of those machines that he's not really using. Uh, I might have to pay for them, he might give them to me for free, but that would be pretty awesome uh, if I do anytime in the near future. Because I'm working for the next two months full-time, I'm probably not going to do a whole lot with that, but when I go back to college, I'll probably bring like a car full of computers back with me and just work on those at college and make a few hundred dollars every few days on the side. So yeah, um... So that'll be interesting. That'll actually make my videos pretty interesting once more because I know they're kind of bland. Uh, they're few and far. They're, they're few and far apart. I said that completely wrong, but anyway, you know what I mean. Um, I don't make a whole lot of videos anymore, as you guys know, and they're not very interesting. So um, I don't know if I get a whole bunch of machines. I think that would be pretty cool. So I think that about does it for this video. Um, I'm actually hoping to make a gaming PC sometime soon for my friend. Um, well, he'll be paying for it, obviously, but I, I might be the one lucky enough to design and build it. If I do that, I will make a video for you guys, of course, because I love doing that. Um, including, like, a time lapse on building and everything. But right now, he's, it's just an idea, so I don't know. It might not actually happen, but hopefully it does. But yeah, I think uh, that's about it for this video. I really don't have much to say. In fact, I really, really wish I had more to say, but I really don't. So, um, so yeah, that's about it. So, as always, thank you guys for watching. Um, hopefully sometime in the near future I'll, I'll find something specific to crank out a video on. But yeah, until then, uh, see you in the next one.